I'm here at Local 728, the union for lighting technicians in the motion picture and TV industry. They've been helping their members get through the pandemic and the strikes, and that includes helping them with their mental health. Surviving the writers and sag after strikes after already surviving a pandemic. It's been a rough few years for people who work behind the scenes like Malachi Simmons. He's a set lighter for movies and TV, but he's also the vice president of the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees Union, which is why he's helping fill up this food pantry for his members. So during COVID and everything that was going on then, people dying and stuff, you don't have time to really mourn that. And so for me personally, you're dealing with life issues and at the same time trying to think about the membership which is why Malachi is one of 1,400 industry professionals who have taken a mental health first aid class. It's part of a mental health initiative created by Behind the Scenes Foundation, a group that creates and supports programs for the entertainment technology industry. I think one of the most important things that we learned during the mental health first aid course is, first of all, it's okay to be not okay during certain times. Sometimes we get very hard on ourselves and think we should be putting on a front when sometimes you just need to be in that moment. Samantha Steepleton is the Director of Social Services at the Will Rogers Motion Picture Pioneers Foundation, one of the organizations that is part of the initiative. She's also a licensed clinical social worker and therapist. When our stability is threatened, i.e. with work shutdowns or production shutdowns or the pandemic, our bodies go into a response. Along with a mental first aid class, there's also a website with several resources, including a screener for someone who may be experiencing crisis. And a lot of the um, things that we created through the mental health initiative is to support people in their jobs, on the, on the set, where they work, so that they can help each other and be a support to each other. Malachi says over the last couple of years, his union has received a lot of phone calls from members in crisis. And that phone call could come at five in the afternoon or at 11 o'clock at night. And you have to really be there for that member. He adds that understanding how to help someone in crisis could help save lives. <laughs>